Hello everyone, it's Ruben here and today I will show you how to make a proper backup of your token pay wallet. So the reason I do a separate video on this is because I still see a lot of people who didn't make a backup and unfortunately also some people already lost their token pay even though we want them to always make a backup. So there are two ways to make a backup. You can do the recovery phrase and you can do the wallet.dat file. So we're gonna start with the recovery phrase. In order to get the recovery phrase, you will have to navigate to wallet management and hit add new wallet. Give your wallet a name, wallet video, and give it a password. Make sure you write the password down or do a password that you will absolutely not forget because the password is important as well. Add an optional password to secure the recovery phrase. So I added the password, just keep the standards, pick your language, if it's any of these, I just go with English. And then you get the recovery phrase. I'm just going to copy paste it, but you should write this down very carefully on a piece of paper. This is like cold storage recovery phrase. So write it down on a piece of paper. Never ever save it in like a Google Drive or something, because it's just not safe to keep it on the internet. So write it down, hit next step, fill in your phrase. So do not do what I now do with copy paste. You just have to write it down and then you have to type it in just so you make sure it's right. Oh, it's, it's dial. Okay, that's why. So let's go. You can now use your account to send and receive funds. Remember to keep your wallet recovery phrase and password if set safe in case you ever need to recover your wallet. So if we now go to overview, uh, I mean wallet receive, wallet video default. Whenever you use this wallet, let's say my PC now dies, I can use the recovery phrase and the password and I will get this wallet address back and I will have access to it again. If you want to know how to import a wallet with recovery phrase, we also made a video about that which I will link at the end of this video. So there's another way to make a backup and that's with the wallet.dat file which you can place on something like a USB. So in order to access it, you will have to type run. This is for USA and English computers if you have those languages set. If not, type run in your native language. So we're gonna do run. Type percentage app data percentage, hit okay. Navigate to the T from token pay, ST token pay, here we go. And here you see the wallet.dat file. You just have to right click it, copy, and then I would recommend to copy paste it to a USB file. So if you copy this on a USB, you have your wallet.dat on a USB as well. And then you have two backups. As always, keep at least one backup outside of your house, you know. I'm a real doomsday scenario thinker, whatever. <laughs> Let's say your house burns down or something like that. There is no use if you have all your backups at one place. I mean, there are so many things that could perhaps go wrong, you know. So if you keep one outside of your house, you will have always a guarantee that you have another backup somewhere safe. So save it on a USB. I myself use an e USB with a password on the USB itself as well. Those are like $20, like 16 euros, so not a lot of money. If you have a decent amount of token pay, it's definitely worth it to keep them safe. If you want to do these steps on a Mac, that's also possible, I got it here. Opening a final window, ensure token pay is closed. Pressing command plus shift plus G in the go to windows that appears type library application support token pay. This is the same files contained in windows application folder. Back up the wallet the dead file and delete all of the files in the folder. This is if you want to do the wallet.dat sync fix, by the way. If you just want to make a backup, you just have to copy it and you can skip this, this part. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope this will help you out. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask underneath the comments. Wish you guys a great day. I'm out. Bye.